it's food o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer and today I've got a real intrigue into what these are like. We've got some McCain Gastro Craft Beer Fries. Now here's the intrigue. What makes these chips craft beer fries? Is it because they're skin on? Are they made with beer? I don't know. They just look like regular fries to me. So we got the air fryer out. We're going to get some in the air fryer. Couple more. And we'll be back in 20 minutes to see what they're like. Okay, these craft beer fries are just about ready. Here's a look at them straight out the air fryer. Love my, love my air fryer. Oh, eyes are bigger my, than my belly again. So here they are, straight out the air hot fryer, boiling hot chip. They look a good chip. This skin on on the ends of the the fries. I mean, they, they smell uh, like a potato a potato chip. They don't smell like beer. Hmm. They don't particularly taste like beer either, but what they taste like is a really good quality chip. Something that you might expect from a craft beer bar. I find it funny though, I really do. How do you serve these? I've seen fries in a craft bar, I've seen them served in a paper bag, I've seen them even served in miniature you know, little fryers. You know your deep fat fryer, the little metal cages which they drop the chips in, in the oil. I've even seen fries in these miniature little cages being served in that fashion as well. And in, in of course, a, a, a lovely restaurant to serve craft beer. When something becomes popular, as is craft beer right now. And I've seen, and I think this is a follow-up. I think last last year, um, McCain brought out craft snacks to have with your beer. I can't remember the name of the damn things now. They were like, had something with the word brew on, I think. They were like in boxes, gastro-like um, cheese bites and and stuff in batter and, and mozzarella sticks in batter and craft beer fries. What was that called? What was the name of that stuff? It didn't quite catch on. Good idea. Good idea because, uh, you know, I, I actually enjoyed some of the stuff. But it was all McCain, but they never put the McCain badge on. I did a bit of digging around. Now, at this stage, they taste like a regular fry. So I didn't put anything on the chips because just in case they were like beer, beer battered or they were cooked in some kind of beer sauce. But they're just a naked potato fry. 
So I'm going to whack some. I'm going to drown them in vinegar. I, I love vinegar being a, somebody from the UK. Another story to tell. I went to Croatia a couple of years ago to brew my collaboration beer in Croatia. And we had chips there. And it was like a, a specialist chip bar where they had all these different sauces and mustards and tomato ketchups for your chips. And the chips were like shaped like they had a scoop in them. So you could scoop up the sauces, all your garlic, mayos and stuff. And the guy said, ah, you're from the UK. Would you like vinegar? And I remember Sinisa, the owner of the brewery, said, ah, vinegar on your, on your chips? And I said, honestly, get some on mine now. I put loads of vinegar on my chips. I said, try one of them. And he tried the chips in vinegar. Blew his mind. Completely blew his mind. So they've gone down a different avenue. They've ditched the boxed foods because it was quite expensive. It wasn't cheap. It was like, I think it was like £2.50 to launch. It, it wasn't cheap kind of craft beer food. It was quite, you know, on the, on the expensive side. And I don't think it sold very well. It didn't sell very well. You could have picked it up in Morrison's years ago. Two, two, one, two years ago, something like that. So they've gone with craft beer fries, gastro fries in a bag. I think this is going to work much better. Are they that much different though? That's what you're looking for. Are they that much different from a normal fry? I don't think so. I don't think so. Right. Peter and McCain uh, were a family owned food company and we know good honest food tastes best, that's why we keep things simple. We're passionate about potatoes and our farmers who grow them. Our farmers are the, are, are the extension of our McCain family and we've worked with some of them for over three generations. With the finest crops we always cut from whole potatoes and prepare with love and care using real simple ingredients and, our, and no artificial colours or preservatives made from delicious potatoes. For everyone to enjoy. Still not explaining the craft beer fry though, are they? And there's no beer in the ingredients. So, what makes these a craft beer fry, everyone? What makes them a craft beer fry? And why don't you just buy normal McCain fries, which are in the, in the air fryer? equally as good. Is it because they've got a tiny little bit of skin on, on the end of the fry? Is that what makes them a gastro craft beer fry? They're really good. They're really tasty. But I'm a little bit confused because a regular McCain fry would taste just as good out of the air fryer. They were about £2.50 a bag as well. And what I wonder, if I'm honest, as craft beer drinkers, what we kind of pay for a pint of beer is a little bit more money than a regular pint of beer. So have they gone, McCain, right, these people are gonna buy these chips because they got craft beer written on the bag and they're gonna pay more money for them. Is that what's happening here? They taste like a normal, regular McCain fry with just a little bit of skin on. They're tasty, I love fries, I love McCain fries. But why the craft beer bit? It just doesn't make sense. So for that reason, I'm gonna give them a 7 out of 10. A 7 out of 10 from Real Craft Beer, but I think they missed the boat. 
they've missed the boat. Maybe flavour them with some stout or some porter or some IPA. Try that. 7 out of 10. Thanks for watching. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.